Ohms law. Ohm's law is an empirical law. Right? What do you mean by the empirical law? There are some universal laws. Universal gravitational law. It is true at every time, at every place. Anywhere, at any time. Coulomb law in electrostatics. It is true at any way, at any time. It is also universal law. But Ohm's law is valid in a particular situations. Because it is true at a particular situations, then instead of saying universal law, it is called empirical law. Right? It is experimentally verified at a particular situations. Now, it was proposed in 1826 by George Simon Ohm. George Simon Ohm. Now, what is the statement of the Ohm's law? The current passing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the conductor at the constant temperature that constant temperature is condition if the temperature is not constant the ohm's law does not valid that's why what is my condition what is our condition temperature remains constant at the constant temperature the current passing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the conductor. Now, let us consider. This is the conductor. This is the conductor. Conductor of cross-sectional area A, conductor of length L, initially, the electrons inside the conductor, they are in a random motion. Right? To move in a regular motion, to get the current to flow, you want to maintain the potential difference across the conductor. To maintain the potential difference across the conductor, cell has to be connected. Therefore, across the conductor, this is the cell. This is the cell. <coughs> As the cell is ideal, there is no internal resistance. The EMF supplied by the cell is equal to the potential difference. Right? Therefore, across the two ends of the conductor, that is X and Y, what is the potential difference? V. Because of the potential difference applied across the conductor, electric field is applied inside the conductor electric field is applied on the free electrons because of this electric field instead of moving in a regular motion all the electrons are moving in a because of random motion all the electrons are moving in a regular motion now here because of the regular motion of charge carriers because of regular motion of electrons what is the current passing through this one? I is the current passing through this one. Now, what is the relation between potential difference and the conductor? Correct. Now, what is the difference between potential difference and the current? Now, according to statement, the potential difference V and current, apply, current passing through the conductor I. Now, temperature remains constant. At T is constant. Therefore, at the constant temperature, 
the current passing through the conductor current passing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the conductor if you increase the potential difference current is also increased if you decrease the potential difference current is also decreased then there is a directly proportional that's why we can say ohms law is an empirical law between potential difference and the current therefore as the proportionality is coming to equals to there is a proportionality constant r into i that equals to v is equals to r i therefore this may be written as v is equals to i r now this is here <coughs> this r is called r is called proportionality constant proportionality constant this r is called proportionality constant this proportionality is con constant is called what to say resistance proportionality constant is called resistance now here about the resistance i will discuss later next now depends upon the ohms law depends upon the ohms law right conductors are classified depend on ohms law depend on ohms law right the conductors are classified into conductors are classified into right conductors are classified into to ohmic conductors ohmic conductors and non ohmic conductors non ohmic conductors this ohmic conductors are also known as linear conductors this non ohmic conductors are sir are also known as non linear conductors non linear conductors what is the ohmic conductor the conductor which obey the ohms law is called ohmic conductor the conductor which does not obey the ohms law is called non ohmic conductor ohmic conductor obey ohms law obeys ohms law right non ohmic conductor does not obey ohms law obeys ohms law right now if it is obeying or if does not obeying how to check now as the potential difference is increased current is also increased at regular times potential difference is increased and the current is also increased right the variation in the potential difference the variation in the current can be measured by the ammeter and voltmeter regularly that should be noted as the v values and i values and plot the graph between potential difference and current now how to plot let us consider now right the potential difference v and i for a conductor if i draw the graph potential and current then the graph is straight line passing through the origin then it is called ohmic conductor the conductor which obey the ohms law is called ohmic conductor for ohmic conductor the graph between v and i is a straight line passing through the origin that's why it is a linear conductor 